What's up, everybody? I'm here today with uh, last year's UConn football team's captain, uh, four-year starter, someone who I consider a good friend of mine, and also a heavily, a now heavily regarded NFL draft process. I'm here with offensive tackle Matthew Parrott. What's going on, Matt? How you doing, bro? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Everything good over there? Everyone's safe? Everything's great. Everyone's safe in my family, just, you know, taking it day by day, staying active, and just, you know, looking forward to a better future. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So thanks again for taking the time to talk with us. Um, so first off, for some of those that aren't familiar with the NFL draft process, over the t past two months, you've participated in the Senior Bowl and also the NFL Combine. What have the last couple months been like for you, Matt? Uh, last couple months have really been a, a, like a dream come true for me. Um, you know, just being able to be invited to the Senior Bowl, um, you know, playing against the top talent across the country and, you know, being fortunate to be coached by uh, the Detroit Lions, you know, uh, just having that time, just, you know, taking all the information and just really, you know, improving my right to be a top prospect has been amazing. And then, you know, being um, invited to the NFL Combine, that's just a dream come true for any football player, just to be on that stage, you know, you know, running your 40, doing all those drills in front of, like, everybody. Um, it was a real dream come true. Um, 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 I was happy to be a part of it. And, you know, like I said, just looking forward to the future and what, you know, hopefully I, I did everything I needed to do to, you know, have a good future coming out. Obviously, so it's good yeah. to <laughs> what are some of the most valuable lessons that you've learned throughout this process? Uh, valuable lessons um, for me. Uh, I've always harped on like hard work. I mean, I really feel like, you know, you are what you, you know, the effort you put in is like what you're going to be in the long run. And um, that's something that I really learned. Like you really want to be a very, very um, dominant player going forward. You got to put in the work. You got to be willing to sacrifice things that, you know, um, you know, we like used to, to, you know, um, just to just become that much better of a football player, if that makes sense, yeah. So I'm just curious. I don't know if you are able to talk about this, but um, uh, what NFL teams have you talked to, and are there any teams showing more interest than others? Um, I actually don't know if I'm able to talk about that. I, okay. I actually generally don't know. I, I'd have to reach out to my, my guy. I don't want to, like, step on any toes. Um, but, like, in, during this process, you know, uh, I can say some teams have reached out. Um, and uh, I'm just keep it broad, general, because I don't want to step on any toes. Yeah, yeah. Like I said. So some teams definitely reach out during this process. Um, and, you know, just, just looking forward to, uh, what's it, April 23rd, April 25th. Yeah, just looking forward to that date. Um, you know, it's just, like I said, I just hope uh, what I did in the past in the senior bowl, the combine, and um, the few interactions I've had during that time, I really feel like, you know, uh, people understand who I am. And, um, I just really feel like I put my best foot forward in order to transcend. Absolutely. So uh, I'm also curious, um, over the process of senior bowl and combine, were there any players that like really stuck out to you where you're like, damn, this guy's a freak athlete or this guy's really on the next level? Were there any players? Uh, senior bowl and combine? Um, uh, uh, at a senior bowl, because we kept going at it, uh, Uche from uh, Michigan. Uh, that's definitely one of my good friends now. We definitely became closer over the time, but, you know, definitely during one-on-ones or any type of, uh, you know, or a run block, he's definitely one of those guys that uh, it was uh, like, you know, we had that rivalry going. Um, uh, Josh Jones, the tackle from Houston, uh, he became close friends as well. I was going to say, uh, how does that work out? Because you guys were competing against – I mean, not against each other because you both play the same position, but being in the American Athletic, that uh, how, how was that um, relationship? I mean, it was great. I mean, uh, we, we were on the same team at the Senior Bowl. Um, you know, we were at the same facility at Exos for a little bit, and then uh, he switched off to go somewhere else. But, um, you know, we always had a very close bond because, you know, we were from the same conference. So rather than us being rivals, um, like Houston versus UConn, we kind of came like, hey, we're from the same conference, you know. So, yeah. you know, let's bad together and just put on for the conference, that type of thing. Um, and then just training with overall just uh, – um, I mean, there's so many guys that could list, like, you know, from an O-line standpoint. Um, Darryl, uh, the center from Mississippi, so Mississippi State, Daryl, uh, Andrew Thomas from Georgia, Solomon King from Georgia, uh, Lloyd McKinley from LSU. Uh, just those guys, um, they're awesome. Uh, oh, Prince Prince Tega from Auburn, Lucas Nang from uh, TCU, um, and uh, – Nico from uh, Louisiana Lafayette. Uh, we were the only offensive line crew down at Exos, and like it was awesome just being around those guys. Like you know, they're really, you know, they're they're hardworking people. Um, definitely understand why they got the accolades they have, and like why they were there, why they were they had they were able to be where they were at. Um, you know, it's just awesome, and you know, this they're great people. Wish them nothing but success. You know what I mean? <laughs>
Okay, so obviously these are hard times, and I hope you and your family are getting through all this, but how have you handled going through this process, giving the state of the country and the world? Um, I actually, I did check one of your Facebook stories, and I saw one of your family members doing ladders. That's my mom. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, like, you know, New York's kind of like the new epicenter of this whole thing, so it's kind of, you know, uh, gyms are shut down, training facilities are just shut down, so I'm just trying to stay active as much as possible. Like, every day, my mom and I go for a walk around, actually around this time, around like 2 30 because she's a teacher so you know when she's done teaching and everything like that we go for a walk around the cul-de-sac and then um pretty much like you know we try, i try to keep it interesting just keep it you know do it fun so that that one video yeah my, i got my mom on the ladder drills and she was just doing her thing you know what <laughs> i mean <laughs> she was definitely doing her thing but you know just staying active um you know uh my neighbor's probably thinking crazy i've been spraying up and down the road like crazy jogging um you know like what I think three days ago, I jogged like three miles just to stay in, like just to get, get after it a little bit. That was, that was god awful, but you know, gotta do what you gotta do. And then I'm fortunate that my brother, um, he hooked it up, got a barbell and some weights downstairs in the basement. So, you know, I could do a little bit of weightlifting and stuff like that. And then, you know, just making sure I stay sharp with my offensive line technique, just making sure I just, you know, do some drills I could do with myself on air. I'm just making sure I can fine tune the things that um, I need to work on. Um, Knowing, like, you know, I know my errors and I know my, my weaknesses and stuff like that. So I was just trying to work on making strengths. So how – actually, speaking of, like, errors and weaknesses or anything like that, how have you handled, like, the press that has been putting out different articles about you? You know, they I, I read things, strength, weaknesses. Do you read into any of all that or you kind of just put that to the side? Um, I mean – too. I, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I I, I kind of don't keep my ear out to the media. Like, be honest with you, um, I'm my whole mindset is just to become like the best physical tackle I could be. And um, you know, just speaking to coaches and like I said, the, the few interactions I have um with those coaches and stuff like that, I kind of understand where I need to, you know, what needs to improve in access to my game. And that's when that's 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 what I'm kind of going off of what they have told me, what they would like to see going forward, and um, just taking that with a grain of salt and just you know put put forth that effort to do that so kind of like piggybacking off of those um what i've been told so do that <laughs> so a non-football related question have you been binge watching netflix <laughs> <laughs> what have you been watching because i'm running out of shows to watch man <laughs> well, i ran out of shows so uh <laughs> let's see um uh ozark just came out yep. uh, definitely been watching a little bit of ozark my brother's definitely told me on that uh, I, I kind of got into All American a little bit. All American, I watched yeah. it. That was good. Really, I got you. Got into All American, The Office. Obviously, that's always a great show. Um, shoot, uh, sheesh, uh, Fresh Prince, um, Martin, uh, like some oldies out there. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all for me. Um, I, you know, every every I you know, shoot, every Sunday, my mom would like try to chop it up and watch a random movie. Uh, like like the other day, like we got Harriet, and she always wanted to see the movie Harriet, so we watched that together. So this Sunday, I gotta find another movie for us to watch it together. But yeah, that's that's all I got. <laughs> Do you have TikTok? <laughs> I have TikTok. Oh um, shoot, <laughs> I'm not proud to admit it. I do have a TikTok. Um, you know, it's just uh, I don't make TikToks personally, not me at all. But um, yeah, I, I, I do have a TikTok. That's there. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much man for your time uh, i hope you and your family are doing well and i uh i look forward to hearing your name being called um at the later at the end of the month yes sir thank you appreciate it it was awesome it was great seeing you again man for real for real <laughs>